So for this Google gown, the length of my client is 60. So I'll measure 60 inches. The length of this fabric is not up to 60. So I'll measure it this way. So I'll measure 60. Then I'll add my seam allowance of one inch. So making 61. So I'm going to fold it into two. Cut out my 61 inches. So I'll fold it into two. Then I'll measure the nipple point of my client. That's 11 inches. The under bust is 15 inches. The half length is 17 inches. I'll determine the hip on 25. Then the nail length on 34. Even though I don't really need this nail length. So I'll rule everything out. The circumference of my of the bust is 41. 41 divided by 4 will give me 10.25. Then I'll have to inch my allowance. For the under bust is 36. 36 divided by 4 will give 9 plus 2 inches seam allowance. Then the half length is 38. 38 divided by 4 is 8.5 plus 2 inches seam allowance. So I'll connect the lines. Then for the hip, the hip measurement is 49. 49 divided by 4 will give 12.25. 12.5. So with this 12.5, I'll rule it down. So after connecting the lines, I'll measure my shoulder circumference. The circumference is 17. So I'll divide it by 2, making 8.5. Then from that 8.5, I'll come down by 7 inches. And from the 7 inches, I will measure 4.5. Then come here to measure 1 inch inside. And I'll connect it. So whatever I have here, 13.75, uh, I'll transfer it here. Then I will add one inch for my slope. So I'll cut it out. Now for the neckline, I'll measure 3.5 inches. Then I'll come down with 4 inches. Even though the I'm still going to maintain the shape of the board, the stone board, rather. So for here, I'll measure one inch for the shoulder slope. Then I'll snap the neckline. I'll trim it up. So this is the front. Now I placed my front bodies, the front bodies of this bubu on the on the back bodies, then at the on the remaining fabric to cut my back, and I left two inches for the seam allowance. I'll be for my zip allowance rather. So I left two inches for the zip allowance. So for the neckline. I'm coming down with 1.5 inches. Then I'll just cut it out. Now I'm done cutting both front and back. So the next thing now is the pocket. 
account side pocket. So the pocket is going to start one inch after the half length, then end. So we start here one inch after the half length, then it will end after the hip point. So I'm making use of 10 inches, one inch after the half length, then end at the hip point. So what I'll do is, I'll measure my 10 inches. Then add one inch for my seam allowance, making 11 inches. I'll cut it out. So, because of the shape I want this pocket to have, I'll place it back. Pocket is going to have this shape, so for the pocket, I'm using 11 inches for the width and for the length. Then for the width, I'm using 8.5. So after cutting that out, for the shape of the pocket I want, I'll come in with 4.5. Then the length is 6.5 for easy access for the hand to enter. So I'll just pop it to the 4.5 and I'll cut it out. So for this, I'm cutting two of this. Then I'll cut my facing for it. Then for the facing, I'm going to cut two of these two. Now I placed my um, bodies back on the remaining fabric just to cut out my facing. So I cut out the neck, the neckline. This is the arm O. So. For the neckline of this front, because of the rhino stone, the board of the rhino stone, I want to place on it. So it's somehow asymmetric. So what I'll do now is here, I'll measure seven inches. Then I'll just shape it down this way. So that's the shape of my board. 
and I'll do likewise on my facing. So that's the shape of my bottle. So the neckline, I'll place the facing, the antenna on the facing. And I will stitch them together. I will stitch this side. Also. So now I decided to embellish my my gown with this velvet. Then I placed a rhino stone board on it. So this is the neckline of my of my gown. So I'm going to first stitch this this velvet on it. So I don't want it to be too boring. That's why I'm bringing this rhino stone on it. I'll stitch it. Now I'm done stitching the uh, velvet on this Kampala fabric. So the next thing is I want to fix in the face thing. So this is the front side of the face. This is the front side of this material. So I'll just place them together. Front plus front. Then so from the wrong side. Now for the pocket, I fixed the, you know, I said I, I said I will use uh, one inch after the half length. That's where I fixed the pocket. I just stitch it at the, at the side. Then for the shoulder, I've joined both front and back bodies together. Now I want to fix the sleeve. So I decided to embellish the sleeve as well. So I will stitch out the measurements, then fix it at the ham O. So I'll start stitching the measurement. Now I'll place the front, uh, I mean the, the right side on the right side, then turn it the other way around, just to be able to stitch it around.